Hey guys and welcome to another video. I wanted to talk today about the practical Christianity that I'm trying to show you. So in today's video, I just want to go basically over what is practical Christianity? What am I trying to show here? Sorry, the kitty cat's thing right here. <laughs> so if he shows up on the video, that's what's going on. So practical Christianity. The word practical refer, refers to like your action, right? So I've got that kind of on the screen here with from Miriam Webster. I'm going to read a little bit. Actively engaged in some course of action or occupation. Uh, capable of being put to use, um, things like that. Concerned with voluntary action and ethical decisions. For me, all of this fits into Christianity. There's a practical side of it. What you do, right? <laughs> so what does that look like? Everybody, I've always asked, you know, so in Bible studies, how do I apply this to my life? What, what's the use of it? Um, this is defined for me now, so what does that look like if I go interact with someone? So I found an example that I'm going to show you of a Planned Parenthood disappointment, basically. I'm going to scroll down here a bit. And basically what it is, is Planned Parenthood wanted this law tossed out. It didn't happen because judges decided not to hear their case. So the law stands. And then it says something, this lady here, this is the lady who wants it struck from the books. So the next thing I want to read here that I was very happy to read was this. The Arkansas law requires medication abortion or the abortion pills to have a contract with a doctor as hospital admitting privileges. Why? Because this pill has killed people before. You take this pill, it makes you basically have your period and that causes a miscarriage in that way. And people have bled out, people have died from other complications, so you need to be able to go to the hospital, have a doctor who knows what you've done, and, and admit you immediately to try and stop the bleeding, things like that. Planned Parenthood didn't want that to happen. So there are 6,000 doctors in Arkansas, Cox said. I find it hard to believe in the whole state of Arkansas, no one doctor out of 6,000 doctors would contract. Now, this is uplifting for me, because basically what these 6,000 doctors and these judges did was shut down Planned Parenthood in this area and saved countless lives of children who would have been dead otherwise. So this is what practical Christianity looks like, guys. If you ever wonder, well, how, what can I do? Just take whatever your position is in life and just apply what God says to it. <laughs> It's so simple. It's like, uh, so simple it's hard sometimes. So, in this case, the doctors and the judges, I don't know if they're Christian or not, but they did apply what God wants you to do. And in this case, they sat down and said, well, we're not, we're sitting this out. We, we're not participating with you. We're not going to do this. When someone suggests you do something and it's against God's will, don't do it. Practical Christianity. When someone wants to do something and it's, what God says and he's okay with it, go for it. You know, these are what, uh, this is practical Christianity. And I'm very proud of these people, even if they're not Christians, even if they abstain for a different reason, because they save lives. I think sometimes, guys, we get lost in the minutia. We get lost in the, uh, we get lost in like all of these things that are out here for Christians now. There's like a Christian subculture going on out there. We just try to stay there. But literally, guys, if you go out and you have your practical Christianity and you do this, it literally saves lives. It literally saves souls. So go out there, make a difference, and do what God says and save someone's life. Do what, we, what you need to do to honor God. And in doing so, you will change the lives of so many people around you. And you may not even know it. It may not happen immediately. But it will happen. I've been told by several people that you changed my life. And it was just from having a 10-minute conversation about why I wouldn't do thus and such. Or why I did do thus and such. So go out there, guys, and make a difference. Go out there, guys. Just live 
the way God tells you and make a difference. Show the world that it works because it's the truth and it does work. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know it's Saturday, so go to church unless today's your church, and then I hope you had a good one. Until Monday, because no, not going to be a Sunday one. Until Monday, guys, and I will see you there. Bye.